At the moment, you cannot stop the motor without physically hitting the prop, in effect, because you've got, you can't use the conventional um, brush system because the prop would just shred the brush. So we have to have some method of stopping the motor rather than leaving it to run as long as the, um, th there's power in the battery. So we adapted a control line timer, for want of a better term, whereby we can time all of the functions to that motor. And what, in a, what we're doing is, we're, once, once you push the start button, there's, it goes through a series of programs where, to start with, it will give a delay before the motor actually starts. You're programmed in a delay from the start button. The de after the delay, it then looks for the next instruction. The next instruction is, when do I start to feed current to the motor? And you can program the time that you want that to, to, to start. It then also, when the motor starts, it gently ramps up. In other words, instead of going to full speed straight away, it will gently ramp up and feed more and more voltage in to the motor until it's on maximum voltage. It will then run at maximum voltage for the time I have set in there by a series of... Um, presses on the push button and at the end of that period which on this particular one is 40 seconds means that I've got 40 seconds of it will run at maximum speed which is enough for me to get the number of laps to for the computer to give me the average speed over the over eight laps at the end of 40 seconds I will get a warning by blips of the motor it will blip three times and then steadily ramp down until it stops. When it stops, that is, um, when it stops, the motor is then dead. And even if anybody touches that button, when they pick it up by accident, it will not start again. It has to be reset by a long period press on the button, and then you are back to square one and you can start again. Thank you. 